Hello, my name's Nick and I'm an Applications Engineering Intern here at National Instruments in the UK. In this video, I'm going to be showing you a project I've been working on using the MyDAC and LabVIEW. It's called MySpeedTrap. So let's take a look at the hardware build of MySpeedTrap. You can see a small piece of toy car track with a known distance measured out. At either end, a laser pointer is mounted, shining directly into a light-dependent resistor. When the car travels along the track, it breaks the path of the laser and we've created a simple light gate. You can see that the light dependent resistors and the laser pointers are plugged into a small breadboard attached to the MyDAC. A little bit of circuitry is required to interface the analog signals from these LDRs into the MyDAC. At the very back you can see the MyDAC itself. This is a USB powered multifunction data acquisition device. It features analog inputs analog outputs, digital I.O., a DMM, a Bode analyzer, and loads more. But what's really important for this project is it features an onboard digital counter, and that's what we use to measure the time between the car breaking the first light gate and the second one. So let's take a look at this in action. On the screen, you can see my LabVIEW application running. If I take my car and push it down the track, you'll see the speed update automatically on the screen the car a little bit higher up the track and it goes even faster. Using a little bit of math we can predict the speed the car will reach. We know that the gravitational potential energy of the car as it travels down the ramp will be converted to kinetic energy. Using this we can estimate the speed of the car. The LabVIEW application will do this little bit of math for us. So for a ramp length of 15 centimetres at an angle of 13.5 degrees the application predicts that the car will reach a speed of 0.83 meters per second. So let's try that out. 15 centimeters. And as predicted, the car reached 0.83 meters per second. So let's increase the length of the ramp up to 25 centimeters. Now the application predicts the car will reach 1.07 meters per second. So we put the car on 25 centimeters. And as predicted again, the car reached 1.07 meters per second. As I mentioned before, the project uses the MyDAC's onboard counter to measure the time it takes for the car to travel the known distance. When the car breaks the first light gate, it sends a high pulse to the MyDAC, telling it to start counting the pulses in a known 100 MHz time base. When the second light gate is broken, the MyDAC stops counting and returns the number of periods it has counted of that known time base. We therefore know the time it took for the car to travel along the known distance. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to find out more, follow the links below where you'll be able to find the source code and a detailed project guide.